more lunch breaks. Oh hey, huh. something is very different today, huh? What do you mean? I don't, know. I don't see it. You don't see anything different? Really? Yeah. Hang on. Whoa, who is this guy? <laughs> oh, I see it. In case you guys didn't notice, that's right, we got new glasses. Ah. When some of us figured out that we needed new prescriptions, uh, Jin's eyewear stepped in and helped us out. Jens is actually a, uh, a Asia-based brand, but they have a few locations in California now. And the thing I love about getting glasses in Asia is that they're super fast, uh, there's a huge selection, and they fit our faces better. They actually brought all that great service over to the US, so you know, glasses under 30 minutes, uh, all-in-one pricing, a huge selection, and just a ton of stuff. Benson thought that he had I'd never potential. <laughs> he didn't have 2020, but he didn't not have 2020. Yeah. I think my prescription is negative 1.25 on both eyes. Oh, that's So I never I never claim to be 2020. I just never had my eyes checked. This was a long time coming. We were walking around the store and I was taunting Benson because we were looking at all of the frames and Benson's like, oh, I don't even know if like, I'm gonna need these. I mean, they look cool and everything and ha! That sounds They like live cool. on your face now. Well, my thing when I first got glasses was I could see definition and I could see lines. Did that freak you out? It was more like reading things far away. It's like mm. normally before I would kind of strain on like signs or something like that, but then putting it on, you really can tell the difference that. They get a little bit sharper. I can read now. Everything is in HD. That's how I describe it. Yeah. Oh gosh. It's like, wow, <laughs> the world looks yeah. clear. I was, just, I was just buffering this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cool because I've been wanting like more modern looking glasses. Hmm. Cause for me, my face shape, I like big glasses or big frames. The typical like glasses frames are like usually thin and rectangular and hmm. I feel like that does not look good on me. So I like that lately, like more brands have been doing more modern styles mm -hmm. and like, more like hip and cool styles that I can like actually use as an accessory too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not just like a thing I need. When I first got glasses, I, I was kind of traumatized. I was in, I was in sixth grade and I thought, you know, at sixth grade, you're like, what, 12? And you're, you're already thinking like you're, you're insecure about, about who you are and mm -hmm. how people see you. And suddenly they're saying, you gotta put these on because you're, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, I'm good, I'm good, I don't need these things. That's evolved over the years. So now it's more like a, hey, this is, this is kind of who I am and, and, and it's part of my, my style and it's part mm -hmm. of my identity. You can actually have different glasses for different occasions too, which is mm -hmm. a totally new idea where, it was once this thing that I was handicapped in mm -hmm. is now like this thing that I can um, I can really enjoy and be a part of. Wait, what made you realize or question whether or not you needed glasses? Was it like you couldn't see the board or something? No, see, I was, I was like Benson, where you know you don't know how <laughs> bad it is uh, until wait, you get it tested. Right? What you just said is how I found out I needed glasses. So it was in fifth grade, mm -hmm. oh, and I was trying to read the board, oh, and okay. it was like that type of like vocab thing where there's like fifty little tiny words, and you have to like mm -hmm. make a sentence out of it, and mm -hmm. I was like. I can't see anything. So like I had to go to the front and oh, sit no. down with my group that can't see. Mm. And then I was like, oh, is there something wrong with me? But I didn't <laughs> worry about it until mm. like later on. <laughs> you sure you weren't like a troublemaker in the back of the class? Like, <laughs> I just thought they were writing blurry on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. You were to challenge me. Yeah. For me, it was um, kind of scary because I was taking my test to get my permit to drive. You have to put your face in this machine thing to read the letters inside. Mm. It wasn't a chart on the wall. So when I put my head in it, it was like a three by three of letters and I couldn't see the whole middle column. Mm. What? So yeah, it disappeared. So like I can like hide right here and you won't see me. <laughs> <laughs> if my head is tilted at a certain angle, I guess. And then they told me that I had to go to an optometrist and told me to check it out. <laughs> I'm actually gonna take these off because I'm still not quite used to them. So eating is like <laughs> affecting my depth perception. <laughs> me, me and Chris had uh, noodles the other day and the steam was just <laughs> fogging the glass. <laughs> I've never experienced now that you before. Understand? I always think about when I eat yeah. pho, like I wish there was like little windshield wipers for my glasses. Yeah. 
Like, I can't eat it right away, but that's the best thing to eat. <laughs> so, things people with glasses have to deal with. Steamy glasses, yeah. right? And now with um, the surge of like 3D movies, mm -hmm. you know, you gotta put- <laughs> You gotta double stack it. You gotta it. double stack it. I used to double stack my sunglasses on my actual glasses because I don't have contacts. Mm -hmm. But I got this really cool frame that lets me do this really cool magic trick. So, yeah. Oh, bam. So it's for really lazy bam. people that don't want to carry <laughs> extra glasses. Or innovative? Me too. Potentially. Me too. It's cool that um, something that once had like a stigma. Tism. A stigma, which I have very bad stigma. Me too. It's why the world is so beautiful to me. <laughs> and also very, very blurry. But something that was once a stigma is now kind of celebrated. Since you didn't get them when you were younger, mm -hmm. but so like Wes, then, like, did you get made fun of when all the kids were wearing glasses? Um, I was definitely embarrassed um, more, more so not because. Not because I was bullied, but um, it was like a self-conscious thing. Like I was already worried about every other aspect of my body, so I didn't want to be the total nerd, you know, with the four eyes, with the braces, with the. Uh... Oh, have you all had braces? Mm. Yes, I've had braces. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. all of oh, yeah, all it. Mm. That I was actually more self-conscious about because it changes the way you sound. Yeah. Also. Oh. Mm -hmm. I was actually excited for braces. Why? <laughs> All of my students had braces, and I was the last one, so I always felt like the odd yeah. man out. When it becomes a, a thing that everyone's doing, then suddenly it's like, I right. want to join it. It's just that one trailblazer yeah. that it's just really hard for them because they're yeah. the first ones that are different, I guess. I got my braces really late. I think I got them in high school. It's not late, actually. What? It's, it's not super late. I had like two phases. In middle school. Two Me too. Me too. What? Me too. How do you have Second grade braces was my twice? First. Well, I had like a whole process, like an expander and all that. So, like, I had like a gap tooth mm -hmm. at one point because the expander like uh, Pixar my, my didn't teeth happen. Apart. Pixar didn't happen. Well, so so there's no pictures of me <laughs> <laughs> at <laughs> all smiling with braces. I, I never smiled throughout high school, like at all. It, it, it really all closed mouth, very awkward. <laughs> I remember I did that too. Very <laughs> awkward smiles. You know when you break your arm? I've never, I've never had that. I've never broken my arm. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so. <laughs> okay. But it's like you, getting a cast. Exactly. So when you break a bone, and you have to get a cast, right? right? It's mm -hmm. supposed to be this like, damn, I now I'm handicapped, I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. But then you see people like get colors and like draw stuff. I actually remember seeing people with a cast, thinking, man, that's cool. I want one too. <laughs> How do I get one of those? <laughs> like with glasses, it's like. It's something that literally makes you see better and like live your life better, yeah. do things better, make things better. Mm -hmm. So it's like, why should you be ashamed of that? Mm -hmm. And things are, our glasses are cooler now. We've been talking a lot about like when you're growing up and things are changing and, and being insecure then, but mm -hmm. the truth is uh, these things are going to exist throughout your life. It's not like uh, 12 to 17, you're going to feel awkward about life. Like there's going to be things that you're, gonna, you're always going to feel insecure about. But learning to live with these things is just part of it growing up. The sooner you can do that, I think the more happy you'll be with yourself and people will respect you for that. Thanks again to Jins for getting us new glasses and we have a special giveaway for you guys. All you gotta do is leave a comment below with what you're insecure about and how you overcame them. And we want to reaffirm like, you know, those positivities by giving you free glasses! Yep, so we're gonna choose five winners and you guys are gonna get free glasses from Jins. And even if you don't wear prescription glasses, they also have really great sunglasses too, so. Everyone can play. Something for everyone. Can I try? Yeah. Wow. I don't think... Uh, uh, I don't I'll just have to hold them all day. You don't have the magnetic personality. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm just throwing shade. Uh, See you guys next Thursday. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye.